Hello everyone, Cheryl here. I am going to be doing a video this morning, which I've never done one of these before, where I actually made the mix on video, mainly because I just absolutely hate doing really long videos, but I'm gonna give it a try. Let me know if you like it. Um, and you see two containers here, it's because it's another reason I don't like to do stuff on film. I always make too much, that's just the way I am. So I'm gonna make, um, this is for Nessie Nails. She's doing a group swap. Um, it's uh, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I'm going to try to make this just, I'm just going to stick with pink. So I'm going to use a base of this, what is it, from Crea Createology, the, just the regular, um, it doesn't have any iridescence to it. This is just the white glitter, um, as a kind of like a filler, I guess you'd say. Um, I'm just gonna start there. And I'm not giving you measurements because again, I just, the way, the method to my art is I just go. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna add some iridescence. Uh, this is just fine glitter, 008 fine glitter here. Um, for some some sparkle so I'm adding that let's see here um, I'm I'm gonna stick with pink um, I think I don't know if this is a bit of an overshare or not I don't know um, I, I really think it's not because I think you guys should know about this anyway I mean um, you know, this breast cancer awareness thing is kind of special to me because, you know, I had a little bit of a scare of it. Probably it was, I want to say it was my very, very early 30s. Um, I was flying down to Miami with my husband and I get down there and I'd only been there for a few hours and we were getting ready to go to the pool. Um, and I went to put my swimsuit on and I had what looked like, honestly, a oh by the way that was uh blush recollections tinsel sorry i had what was like i noticed on the inside of my breast it looked like i had a um like a a marble a small marble or even maybe like a large very large p um like under the skin and it didn't hurt it wasn't red it was just really weird um this is, sorry, Cotton Candy, Martha Stewart. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so anyway, I called my doctor and I said, you know, this was not here. I would have noticed it. This is really weird. And he was like, yeah, get on the plane and get home right now. And that's basically what I did. And I got my luggage, went right to the doctor Next thing you know, I was under the knife, and they took this thing out of me. Um, the good news was they got it in time. I didn't have to go through too much rigmarole. Um, it, you know, it was it was definitely scary though. I mean, this stuff can pop up really fast. I was lucky it popped up fast, and it was something that I could see. It was something that I could feel. And some ladies aren't that lucky. You just don't feel it. You don't see it. It's there. It grows. And, and it's just really sad. So breast cancer is a very serious thing. And, you know, I had a, a scare of it. And, you know, I praise the Lord every day that it has not came back. And um, so, yeah, this is something that's a little special to me. Um, you know, I just check yourselves check yourselves it's scary stuff so I'm not going to keep rambling on that I'm going to get back to this um that was the um bubble gum or no that was cotton candy um mylar this is a bubble gum tinsel I'm trying to put a couple different color pinks in here I just used a cotton candy tinsel or no I'm sorry blush tinsel and this one is the bubble gum tinsel so I'm just kind of doing I'm trying to stick with the colors, but but try to put a little bit of different in here. Now this one's cotton candy, Martha Stewart, 
cotton candy. So we did cotton candy, bubble gum, and blush tinsel now. Um, and then we've got the cherry popsicle, Martha Stewart. Um, this is the really fine mylar. I'm just putting a little bit of that in there for, you know, just a little bit, you know, get different pinks. I don't want it all one pink. <laughs> um, then we have, I have these Martha Stewart uh, Holographic Tourmaline. Now, I'm only going to put a little bit in here. I may come back later. This is just for just a pop. Um, we will see what happens. And then this is the same thing, but this is in Kunzite. This is a little bit lighter. Again, I'm not going to overdo these. Um, I have the Peony Caviar Beads. And those came out really fast. Whoa, those came out fast there too. Um, and then this one's called Fairy Dust Caviar Beads. Um, I'm not even paying attention if this is focusing, so I apologize if it's like all fuzzy up in your face. I'm sorry. Um, these are darker, like fuchsia, metallic. Um, I don't want to put too many of these in because, again, I don't want it to overpower, but I want some different contrasts of pinks in there. Um, cotton candy, Martha Stewart iridescent hearts. I love these. They look so cool when they're encapsulated into like clear acrylic. They look like they're 3D floating. Again, I'm not doing measurements here, ladies. I'm just, there is no method to my madness. It just, <laughs> I just, I just go. Um. These are the the hollowed out or hollowed hollowed out pink hearts. Um, I don't have very many of these left, so I'm just gonna take what's left and split them up between the two. Here, um, I'm gonna take and mix this and just kind of get an idea of what it looks like so far. Oh, that's really pretty. I like, I like, I like. Because I have some hexes that are matte and then I have my pink butterflies that I would like to put in here. I just want to see what, where we're at here with the mix though first. Ooh, that is nice. That is really nice. I don't know if I want to play with it too much, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, yeah, they look very nice. I don't know if you can see it so far. Very pretty mix. That's gorgeous. So it's turned out nice. Alrighty, um, I have my um, neon pink butterflies. I'm going to put some of those in. I don't want to go too crazy with them, but I do want to put these in. I really like these. Um, I'm just going to mix just to see. Yeah, I'm going to need some contrast of color in here too. So, um, I'm going to stick some of these. Um, these are the pink shreds. I don't know if you can see those, they're um, bubblegum, pink matte shreds. I'm just going to put a few of these in here. Like these, probably like a quarter or less than a quarter of a teaspoon. That's what this is. Not too much because I don't want to take away from the shine here because once you start adding all these mattes and stuff, it gets kind of bland. Um, I'm going to add some of my... I almost dropped it all on the floor. My um, my iridescent pink mylar. This stuff is so pretty. I'm going to add some of that. And 
And that, I don't know. We'll see how that works. Yeah, we need some, we needed that. Um, I'm also going to add some of my 2mm white hexes. I can get this open. Just for a little bit of a contrast here. Um, I don't know. Let's see here what that looks like. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some of my 2mm bubblegum hexes in here. If I can get this open. Let's come on. I'm making a mess. <laughs> what else is new? We're, my whole family basically... <laughs> has an understanding that I guess we're just all going to live covered in glitter. So I guess that's how it is. <laughs> so, all righty. One thing you have to have when you're do glitter, a good vacuum. And if anybody out there knows of a good vacuum, maybe we should compare our vacuum stories. Who has the best vacuum? I'm curious. What do you use? I have a Kirby, but I live probably two hours from the nearest Kirby store, and I bought that sucker 15 years ago, so it needs a tune-up, so I'm stuck using my Hoover, which does not work. Um, so, I don't know. What's your vacuum for all you glitter ladies out there? Because this stuff is not easy to get up. So, all right, here's my mix so far. I think I was going to add... I was going to add some of my neon pink hexes, but I'm not going to because I think it's going to take away from the neon butterflies. So I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Um, I am going to add some. Uh, do, do, do. Just look in here. I am going to add some shimmer to it, though. Just a little bit. Getting glitter everywhere. Just a little bit of shimmer. I don't want to add too much. Um, with the shimmer, I find that doing this does absolutely no good. Um, I could do this for an hour, and I probably will not get it mixed the way I want it mixed. So... I am going to shake it. This is the best way to get the shimmer mixed. And then I'm going to take a peek at it and see if I'm finished because, wow, I am 13 minutes in. Holy cow. Oh, whatever happened to me doing videos that were under nine minutes? I guess that does not happen. So, alrighty, ladies, I think... I think I like this mix. I do want to add a little bit more of the the darker, what is it, bubblegum tinsel to it. I feel like it just needs a little bit more contrast in there. Um, and then um, these um, fairy dust, which... I always thought fairy dust was blue, but who am I to judge? I don't know. Um, which, they're fuchsia, metallic, caviar beads. I'm going to add that um, just for, it needs, it just needed something. So anyway, here's my mix, ladies. I hope, I'm knocking everything around. I hope you ladies enjoy it. I hope you like it. This is for breast cancer awareness. Um... So there it is. Let's see if I can get it to, I know I gotta pull back a little bit to get it to focus. 
So there it is. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like it. Again, I don't usually do these long videos. I do, this is why I don't do mixing videos because they just take too long. Um, but I'm going to also add these. Oh, wow. I, I did make a mess. I'm going to also add these crystals. Um, these are... Um, I used to actually... Um, I, I got into gemstones a long time ago. These are not genuine right here. These are the man-made um, gemstones. I'm going to add these to my swap for the ladies who are lucky to get my swap. These are... Um, I have so much glitter on here. I don't want to set them down. Um, these are really pretty pink... Um, uh, this is a teardrop, a teardrop shape. I don't know if you can see it. They sparkle so beautifully. Um, so I'm going to add these to, the, you know, the five lucky ladies to get my mix. Um, I'm just going to add them because it's, you know, I, I used to, like I said, I used to be into making jewelry and stuff. And these these are just the man-made ones. Um, you yeah, know, I have the, the marquee cut, some oval cut, some emerald cut. What do we got? Pear shape. So I'm just going to add these pink ones just because I thought they were really cute. You know, and I matched them up. So if you don't want to dig them into your nail, you can make them into jewelry. So they're just gorgeous. So... Anyway, thank you ladies for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching again. Have a good one. Bye.